This will be a quick one, but maybe a life-changing one. In my younger days of drumming, the quickest way to fix my technique or my approach was to play in front of a mirror, look at my hands, slow down, and try to see what I'm doing wrong. But now, almost everybody has this tool they carry around with them every day in their pockets that can tell them exactly what they're doing wrong without having to find a mirror or anything. If you have a smartphone that can record slow motion video, you need to be doing this to speed up your progress and keep yourself in check. If you can't figure out why you're struggling with something, record it in slow-mo and you'll see instantly what's going on. So some of the things you wanna be looking for is how your stroke starts and ends, how your stick is moving, what your stick does as soon as it hits the drum, what you do as soon as you hit the drum, how you are letting your stick rebound, where and when your stick is changing motion, and how you're making the stick change its motion. You also want to look at what your fingers are doing and what your wrists are doing. If you think your technique is really good but you get some pain in your wrists, probably because it's not as good as you think while you're playing. Looking at it in slow motion will show you exactly what you're doing wrong. I'm gonna mount my phone on my little phone mount over here. You don't need a phone mount. You can use anything to hold your phone in place that can see your hands. And we're gonna go through a couple things. So on these slow-mo examples that I give, first of all, I'm gonna hope that I'm doing well for my good examples. And then for the bad examples, I'm gonna list on the screen the things that I see, because I can't see them right now, because we're right here doing this. First, I'm just gonna play some eighth notes on both hands and see what it looks like. Now I'm gonna squeeze the stick a little bit too much and play the same thing. Do you see what I see? Now, if we're trying to make our dynamics better, we can play some accents and taps on the pad with the slow-mo and see what that looks like. I'm gonna play accent, tap, tap, accent, tap, tap, the way that I would usually do it. Now I'm gonna try to make some mistakes and we'll see what we see. As you can see, I'm squeezing too hard, my stick isn't moving very well, and my taps are very high compared to my accents. Kind of hard to tell that I'm doing this unless I'm watching what I'm doing. Now I'll play some kind of fast paradiddly type thing with some accents and taps inside of it. I'll play it the way that I think is good first, and then I'll play it in a bad way. Now I'll play the same thing, but pretty bad. This is a super exaggerated example, obviously. That brings me to a thought. A lot of people struggle with rolls. So I'm gonna do a duple roll to a triple roll. Now I'm gonna try to play it bad. This will help you with everything. If you're breaking a lot, not playing at the speed that you want, sounding bad, no dynamic contrast, or anything in between, this will show you exactly why. If you enjoyed this short little video, please subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment. I have many more videos about technique and drumming concepts that you can check out, and a lot more to come in the future. Hit the links in my description if you're interested in lessons with me, Relax Velocity merch, following me on socials, and checking out my music. All right, see ya.